We start tonight with breaking news. It was a scary day at Davis Senior High School. Students had to be evacuated. ABC 10's Luke Clary is live now at the scene. Luke, what happened? Chris, a very tense afternoon here at Davis Senior High School. The good news is that the police have started to clear away and we've seen those closures uh, lifted around the high school. I just want to talk briefly with this senior here from Davis Senior High School. His name is Josiah and he was uh, evacuated for most of the afternoon. Is that mm -hmm. right? So what was this yeah. like, this evacuation? Uh, so I was just in the middle of physics, the alarm goes off, our teachers tell us to leave all our backpacks in the classroom. We all evacuate first into the parking lot and then they take roll and then later we clear out to the fields behind the tennis courts. And at the time we have no idea what's going mm -hmm. on and I just get text messages from my friends and they're telling me there's like, there's a backpack in the library, no one knows what's in it. And then later I found out uh, from one of my friends whose dad was on the news that mm -hmm. there was a grenade in the backpack. Okay. Like, it was just... <laughs> Thank you, Josiah, for yeah. sharing that with us, your experience here. Again, that was Josiah. He's a senior at Davis High School. We appreciate it. Uh, what I can tell you is that we've spoken with police. They say that that uh, device, the suspicious device, fortunately, uh, may have been a toy or a prank. They received a report from a student. Nevertheless, they had to take this report very seriously. And I want to show you some video from earlier this afternoon. We understand that an explosive ordnance disposal team was here on scene dealing with the device, which they still don't know exactly what it is. We have re heard reports of it. Uh, rumors anyway that it could have been something that looked like a, a grenade possibly um, but we haven't been able to confirm that independently with police now it wasn't just the high school that evacuated the nearby north davis elementary school students had to move to a nearby little league field to be picked up by parents the dhs parking lot closed so students couldn't drive home we showed you that just earlier and they had to be picked up at the davis art center at community park we spoke with the davis police lieutenant just moments ago So again, uh, the roads have opened back up here at Davis High School. So that's uh, the good news. Um, the person that brought this thing to school, we still don't know exactly what it is. Police say could potentially face legal consequences. We're going to stay on this developing story and bring to you whatever we learn. But for now, we'll bring it back to you in the studio. Mm, my goodness. So again, you're thinking this was some type of prank or toy that obviously had a major impact on that community. A scary Friday for students. Of course, stay with us for updates. Our Luke Clary reporting live for us tonight in Davis.